As you all know by now, Felix Trinidad recently beat Oscar De La Hoya in what was billed as the fight of the millennium. Now, and like, and like most big fights, it was missing one thing, a white guy. Now, to make sure this doesn't happen again, we searched the gyms in New York for the next great white hope. So take a look. Have you ever seen any great white fighters? Besides Rocky Marciano, that's it. Are there any great white fighters? Not alive. Not alive? Not alive. Who's your favorite white fighter ever? Um... Um... Now, what about uh, Jerry Cooney? Garbage. Uh, how about Dwayne Bobbitt? Nothing garbage. What about uh, Jerry Quarry? Nothing. He loved to take ass with me. Excuse me. Who's your favorite white fighter? Uh, it was Tommy Morris. Who's your favorite white fighter? Uh, I like Galata, actually. Left hook by Lewis. Galata goes down. Did you ever lose to a white guy? No. Never? No. Was it even close when you fought a white guy? No. You ever lose to a white guy? Never. Never? Never. You fought white guys? Yes. And what happens normally when you fight a white guy? I usually win by unanimous decision. <laughs> Do black fighters get excited when they see a white guy in the ring? They, like, start planning the after party right away? What goes through your mind when you step in your ring and you see that you get ready to fight a white guy? 100 years ago. You start thinking about slavery? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't white guys fight? But they don't have that talent. They don't have that talent. What is that talent? What is the thing they're missing? Skills, movement, rhythm. They don't have that. They just train them to do something, that's why they do all day long. Why aren't whites good at boxing? What, what is wrong? Uh, rhythm. Now, why can't white guys fight? No coordination. No coordination? You ever see them dance? They don't have the, the They movement, don't have it, no. Skills. They don't have no natural talent. They're tough Not enough. for fight. Oh, they take a hell of a ass with it. He is extremely wobbly. Left hook. What do you have to close for? Archery? Budgeting money. Do you ever make any money betting on a white fighter? No, but I made a bet on a black fighter. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you ever bet on a, on a white fighter? Um, not if I wanted to win. <laughs> Do you ever bet on a white fighter watching a fight? I would bet that he lose. So have you ever made any money betting on a white guy? Uh, I don't bet on boxing, just, just football, man. Just football? But I always bet on the white quarterback. What's a good sport for white people? Swimming. Swimming. You got to move to swim, I guess. But that's it. It's the same movement. Straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> straight down, <laughs> straight. Right. Now, what's a good sport for white people, just in general? Hockey. Hockey. Is that just because it's cold out in there? Because it's cold, that's why. The brothers don't play that much hockey. They don't like to get beat up with the stick. When was the last time it was a good fight with two white guys? Uh, Rocky IV. Now, what's more realistic, Rocky or Star Wars? Star Wars. So who would win in a fight between Sylvester Stallone and Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy. What about Urkel and Sylvester Stallone? Steve Urkel. How about Gary Coleman and uh, Mini Me from the Austin Powers movie? Gary Coleman. How about what if Oprah fought Roseanne? I would give it to Oprah. Do you think you could kick my ass? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so what ethnic group could white boxers be? White boxers be. None. What about Asians? You think white guys can beat up Asians? They tend to hate it. They get knocked out. Asians are tend to hate it? Yes. What do white guys have to do to come back and, and box? box? Start segregation all over again. Start segregation all over Band again? blacks and boxing. Is there ever going to be another great white fighter? No. Never? Not as long. As is, you know, not as long as a brother out of a job. So as long as brothers need some dough, why do you gotta go? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs>